Welcome back, everybody, to the New Orleans Saints franchise. We got ourselves a new stadium titled Saints Park. Could have been a little bit more flair. Could have had something else added to it, of course. I would have come up with something a little bit more creative. Maybe you guys have something else in mind. Maybe we won't call it Saints Park. We won't call it what Madden wants to call it. We'll call it something else. But post in the comment section below, guys, what you would like to call Saints Park. And I'll skim through. I'll take a look and see what you guys come up with likely will be better than what Madden has come up with, but we'll see. We'll see. If not, if nothing happens there in the comment section, we'll just just have to continue with Saints Park, I guess. But all right, let's get into the matchup, guys. We got the Chargers and the Saints, Alvin Kamara and Bryce Hoff, two of our top players, offense and defense. There you go. We're going to be without them in our opening game, so unfortunate, but we will have to find a way to put the points up on the board. We do have a strong running back department. We got Donnie Doan, a rookie out of Southern. Southern Jaguars, and then of course we got Ryan Armstrong, the national champion from Ohio State uh, two seasons ago, so he is finding his role very early on with this Saints team, picking up as the RB2 behind Kamara, but so far Jameis Winston moving the ball down the field, unfortunately here on third down and eight, he's fumbling the football, Ryan Ramchek with enough wherewithal, able to pick this thing up in it's now 4th and 14, we'll have to give the ball back to the Chargers. So their first possession here, ever, in Saints Park. I'm never going to get tired of saying that, but we do have a flag on the play here. Looks to be a holding call on the O-line, and in fact it is. We'll see, who the, we'll see who this is on here. It looks to be like it's going to be Rashawn Slater. All right, so their rookie quarterback, Stephen Callahan, out of Florida State, 2nd and twelve up against his own goal line at the five yard line. Pass completed, but Marcus May able to push him backwards. So third down and 11 at the six yard line. Surely our defense is gonna be able to handle this, right? Well, blame me, blame me for this. Third down and 11, I was usering Pete Werner and I just got beat. I tracked it pretty good, but Werner is just a little bit slower on the change of direction, of course. And Gerald Everett gonna take this thing all the way to the 19. So second down and 10. That's a big time sack. Thank you, Charles Snowden, one of our practice squad steals, getting a sack. Third down and 12 at the 21, Callahan, rookie QB. Look at that clean pocket, man. We can't get any pressure on this man. He's able to find his receiver out there to the left, cutting back towards his quarterback, but good job on defense by the Saints to only allow three points. It should be zero points. Like We should have the football at that point. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Running game, though. Looking pretty. Looking pretty. A game is 17 right there for Ryan Armstrong. Third down and seven. Pass going to be risky to the left. Looking for Michael Thomas, but unfortunately falling incomplete. Fourth down and seven. Rigoberto Sanchez, our new punter, is going to do a job. First time he ever got out here in this game. And he delivers the best you could possibly deliver. Great job, by the way, to get that thing to the one-yard line. So now we've got another opportunity to stop the Chargers at their goal line. Are we going to be able to do it? Nope. <laughs> Yet again, another big gain for the Chargers. And this time it's Austin Eckler. This time it's on the ground. And we will switch sides as the quarter switches here with second down and five. Eckler's going nowhere. Third down and three. Big spot here for the Saints. Big spot for the Chargers. Got to be able to convert here. Fire to the end zone. Incomplete. Should have been picked off, in my opinion. So our defense now giving up six points. Not the end of the world, but I would have liked to have had a turnover there and a stop at the goal line way back when. Yeah, I'm still I'm still bummed about that. I'm still burning up inside about that. Ryan Armstrong from the 34 on the little angle route. Going to get to the 35. The Chargers 35. We started on our 34. Well, now we're at their 35. Taysom Hill getting involved as well. So we're out Alvin Kamara. Got to have something to change it up a little bit. And this play action pass to the end zone. Touchdown, baby. Michael Thomas, what a route. What a throw by James Winston to find a way to get it right over top of the linebacker. It was a beautiful pitch and catch right there, guys. I'm in love with what James Winston's been able to do. He's been able to find himself here in New Orleans the last couple seasons here. But first and 10, Callahan swings it to the right looking for Keenan Allen. And Keenan Allen's going the other way. He thought he caught it? I, I don't know. He's turning his body as if he caught the ball crazy. He allows Marshawn Lattimore to have an extra step on him. He wasn't catching him anyway, let's be honest here. Look at him turn up the field. <laughs> 
Marshawn Lattimore with the interception, the pick six. It's now 14 to six, guys, and they're charging. The Chargers are charging down the field there, but they're going to go backwards. Bradley Roby there with the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So third down and 13, and Callahan's going down. Another sack by our defense. Our defense playing good, guys. We've only given up three field goals, nine points, no touchdowns. So let's get some more here. A minute 35, Winston fires it up the middle. That's Chris Olave. He's got good blocking there to the outside. That's Adam Troutman, I believe. Giving him an extra couple yards right there. First down and 10, Winston getting some pressure on him. Ah, I think if it was a cleaner pocket, that would have definitely been a touchdown. Second down and 10, and Winston fires to the end zone. Looking for Chris Olave, touchdown. Perfectly drawn up play call, guys. We had Marquez Callaway going up on the street, taking that safety away, and then right there, he makes the cut to be wide open. Take a look at that throw, guys. Perfect throw by Winston. He's been so money in these last few games here. Third down and 10 here for the Chargers. We're going to call a timeout. we got 32 seconds left. We're able to drive down, guys. we got some open receivers, it looks like. Maybe not. <laughs> they were open. Now they're not. Zero seconds left on the clock. Just prevent the big return like we don't want it. No penalties. Don't give an extra shot at a field goal. We, we just don't want that. Anyway, I don't blame Jameis for throwing that thing up. Like, I want some more points. That's what I'm looking for. It's 21-9. We want to do something... We want, we want more. We want more on that scoreboard, definitely. But here we've got another pick. That is Paulson Adebo with the INT. And that's a pretty athletic interception, man. That's, I mean, he's uh, he's breaking off the route from the wide receiver and, uh, you know, able to make that interception. I mean, he, he's got his arms extended. That's a great pick right there. Second down and four. Troutman's going to make this first down catch. He was completely wide open. Five minutes left here in the third quarter. And then we've got a... A Donnie Doan sighting. Our rookie running back from Southern. Southern Jaguars in our Cajun 6 NCAA football 14 college football revamped dynasty. Say that, man. That's that's a mouthful right there. But here's a pass completed. Looked like we had square, man. We had square deep. It would have been a touchdown. But we're going to settle for the first down there to Michael Thomas. We got a little play action throw here. Looking for square. Jameis. What was that? What was that? He's completely open and he just throws it in the dirt. Unbelievable. So fourth down and two, I'm feeling a little bit screwed there. We're going for it. We get it. And head coach looking around like, what the heck is that, guys? We kicked the field goal up, man. And then we toss this baby up to Michael Thomas in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Saints go marching in, baby. 28 to nine. And we are schooling the Chargers here. We will get the ball back. Fourth quarter, seven minutes and 39 seconds. Just run, 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 run. Mr. Armstrong has got nine rushes for 46 yards, guys. So you want to do the math on that. That's a pretty good average there for RB2. Youngster RB2 getting his first action as a starter coming out into the game. I, I, think, it's, I think it's awesome for him. It's awesome for his development. Definitely. But the Chargers will get a touchdown here as they push the ball down the field. And, you know, hey, three minutes and 39 seconds. Game's pretty much over. 31 to 15. They'll try for two. I got to show you guys how they scored, right? But 31 15, two point conversion. Nothing doing here. Another great job by Snowden with the tackle for a loss. And that's going to do it. So the Saints get a win here in opening game of the year and at Saints Park. We get it done in front of our hometown fans. 34-15. We'll actually tack on another field goal at that point, too. So offense was on fire today. We'll still have to, to track the Chargers and see exactly how good that they really are this season. Three touchdowns for Winston, one interception. And Callahan, a rookie, had 307 yards on our defense. So I I don't I don't really like that. It's like it's bend but don't break at this point. It really is. So it is a little concerning for me watching this defense we got to clean some things up here we, we just need more pressure on the quarterback i feel like we don't we don't get enough in the last couple of seasons here last couple of years i don't feel like we get enough pressure on the quarterback like our guys are really struggling to uh to make some swim moves so they can make some power moves our edge guys don't really have the it factor i've noticed you know bryce huff might get in there a couple times um Charles Snowden had to step in today. He actually made he actually made some nice plays, but it, 
you don't see that initial like that initial burst, that initial get off, like you did with uh, Cameron Jordan when he was here. So, um, uh, of course, he's now, you know, we traded him for draft picks and he retired the next season. So I'd say it's a it's, it's a winning move, but yeah, I just I haven't seen enough juice coming off the edge. Might be a, a position of need here for us in the future, but. This is our first look at the schedule. You guys had not seen this quite yet, but did you guys see that? Right before our bye week, we have four games that we're on the road. So we have an entire month that we are not at home. Very, very tough sledding in this schedule. Now, something to worth to show you guys, to worth to note, is the Saints released Landon Collins. Like, we have good depth there at safety, so I'm not too hurt about it, but I want to know why the CPU decided to do this. Like, I don't have any settings on whatsoever where they should be uh, making signings for me like that. So this is a little concerning, because what happens if it's somebody else? Not just Landon Collins, what if it's somebody else on the team that I actually want to keep, and they decide that they're just going to cut them? They signed a, a left guard. I, we don't really need a left guard. It wasn't even a positional depth issue we've got backup offensive linemen everywhere it's just weird man so let me know in the comments if you've experienced that and let me know exactly like if you've done enough detective work on why that is because i don't get it and it's a little concerning i'm not gonna lie to you but we do get a win over the broncos and it was a solid win not the best win it's kind of a, it looked a little sloppy by by all accounts here we had a couple sacks given up on winston Penning, Ruiz, and Ramchek, and 11 tackles there for Werner. That's a good, that's a good day. Also had somebody with two interceptions. We'll have to take a look at that and see who that was. It looks like Tyron Matthew had a couple sacks here for Turner. Nice. Okay. So defense played solid. We will lose to Pittsburgh by a touchdown, and then that fourth quarter we got shut out. We didn't score a single point in the fourth quarter. It was a letdown. We gave up 17 points. 17 points to Pittsburgh in the fourth quarter. That hurts. That's a big ouchie. That could have been another win. We would be 3-0 and at this point, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's Again, It's I think it's our defense, man. Bend, but don't break. It's just a little bit concerning, man. Just a little concerning. No touchdowns through the air. I think that's what's going to cost us the game. You know, poor defensive play in the fourth quarter when, when the game really matters, right? And no touchdowns through the air. Like, this is what our offense does. Uh, <laughs> we have to get our receivers involved a lot we like to pass the football so unfortunately just didn't get it didn't get it done didn't get it done against pittsburgh we did get that win against denver so i'm, I'm happy about that but our next matchup will be against dallas one and two dallas they're similarly rated to us we're a little bit more balanced of a team i feel like than they are and they find themselves at one and two so they have to come to our place next week's episode will be a loaded one guys we're gonna get dallas we're gonna get atlanta we are also gonna get philadelphia We'll simulate against the Carolina Panthers and a little bonus game against the Buccaneers, guys. So it will be a loaded, loaded episode. Hope you guys are there for it. Leave a like if you like this thing. I will see you back here on Thursday for more New Orleans Saints action. As always, thank you so much for watching and peace.